Nationwide protests are making the entertainment industry once again rethink their programming. So HBO Max announced that they're pulling Gone with the Wind until they can find a way to put it in historical context. And Paramount canceled the long-running series Cops of concerns about racist depictions. Now, personally, I think if you put things in a historical context, because if you start pulling every film, you're going to have to pull coffee, you're going to have to pull all the black exploitation movies because they're not depicting us the right way. This is a very long list of films. If you put, before you show the film, listen, this was shot when things were different and we don't, you know, we don't do this anymore. That's what, you have to put something in context. And I think with cops, listen, if you balance the, the people you arrest, <laughs> if you arrest everybody, if you make it widespread, white people, yellow people, brown people, if everybody's getting arrested, you can have cops. It just feels like it's a whole bunch of black people all the time. You know, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. what, do you, what, what do you make of this? What do you make of this, Sonny? Well, we've had this discussion many times before. Um, and, you know, my biggest concern right now isn't the availability of Gone with the Wind on HBO. Um, uh, but a spokesperson for HBO Max has already explained that the film is going to return to HBO Max, along with additional content to provide that context that you just described. Yep. Because the, the movie yep. um, does, in a sense, you know, glorify the Confederacy and an the antebellum South. And it doesn't provide the true horrors of of slavery. And so I think the movie is going to do, the HBO Max is going to do exactly what you suggest. <coughs> Nobody, I think, on this panel is in favor of censorship. But again, this is, and what I find interesting is that like someone like Megyn Kelly spent all morning, um, you know, tweeting about this. I'd like to see that same energy from people on the right, rather than talking about this issue, talking about the voter suppression that happened yesterday in Georgia, <coughs> uh, talking about the 112,000 right. Americans that are still, uh, dead from uh, COVID, uh, you know, discussing right. things like that right. rather than uh, putting going with the wind in, in, in context. I think this is much ado about nothing. Right. I think this is a big distraction. Um, and again, it's a discussion that we've had so many times before. Yeah. Joy, what's your take on this? Well, to me, censorship is like a lazy, a lazy way to go. Like Sonny's basically saying the same thing. I think it's like uh, so we get rid of Gone with the Wind. Does that solve the problem with uh, with uh, uh, racism? I don't think so. And and let me just make a distinction between Gone with the Wind and Cops. Gone with the Wind is a completely fictionalized account of what went on uh, after the Civil War or during the Civil War, I guess, um, based on Margaret Mitchell's novel. It's a novel called Gable is in it. Vivian Lee, a British right. woman, is playing a Southern belle. The whole thing is all made up. Right. Uh, whereas Cops is a re supposedly a reality show, kind of a docudrama. So it's more dangerous to present the cops as that one way. I mean, we're watching a different reality right. show this week on television, on uh, on right. the news. Right. I mean, but but you can't, as you said, Whoopi, you can't really do it to everything. I'm thinking of Downton Abbey. Do people really believe that those upstairs people were so kind to the downstairs? Oh, let's let's have a party with the with the downstairs people this week. It's such a bunch of baloney. So, but they presented so, it that way <laughs> and made these rich people look good. But it's it's a bunch of baloney, yeah. the whole thing. So let's enjoy so, the fictionalizing so, of it as, as an escapist thing. That's so, Megan, do it. you agree with the networks on this or what? Okay. And, and you, Megan, how, how, do you, how are you looking at this? Yeah, I mean, I guess I should apologize that we're doing this topic because it was my doing. I was on Twitter last night and it was a conversation that's been trending. And I actually just thought it would be interesting to talk to you, Whoopi, because you're an Academy Award winner. I believe the second, only the second black Academy Award winner after Hattie McDaniel, who won an Oscar for her role and Gone with the Wind. And I think it's interesting to talk about censorship in film and books right now because there are a lot of conversations about what's appropriate and what's not. And I started thinking we have had conversations conversations like this on the show. I believe, uh, Joy, you and I have talked about specifically Breakfast at Tiffany's and the portrayal of Asian Americans and how it's it's pretty much viewed as one of the most racist portrayals in, in all of film history. And I do, I do just think it's an interesting 
conversation about what we are going to show. I, I'm going to become a mother soon. I'm thinking about what kind of art and cinema I'm going to be showing my future child. And I think if I were to show my child Gone with the Wind, I would be probably having to have really serious conversations about the fact that this is a fantastical, uh, uh, completely fictionalized version of the South during this time, which was wrecked with slavery and is one of the most horrific moments in all of uh, world history. So I do think when we're talking about movies like Breakfast at Tiffany, Dancing with Wolves with Native Americans, Driving Miss Daisy, things like that. It's just interesting to think about how we are going to view art during the historical lens that we are in right now, that so many people are open, trying to have conversations. I, I did grow up watching Gone with the Wind, and, and I, I do view it a little differently, but I, I, I would like to know what it means for people who are fans of Hattie McDaniel if it's removed. And I, I know that maybe this seems like a trite <clears throat> and stupid conversation to some of you, but I, I, I was interested in it. So it's my fault this is a topic today. Well, no worries, no worries. Here's what I can tell you. It's probably what you'll tell your child is what I tell my kids when we turn on uh, movies and it takes place in New York and there are no people of color. Yeah. Or it takes place, you know, anywhere and there are no people of color, no Asian people, no brown people, no nothing. You always have to say, cartoons are the same way, by the way. This, these were shot at a different time when people didn't realize how bad it was not to have actual people who might live in the city moving around in the cities. I tried to make sure that I can explain to people that there's a whole history where people are not represented. And so we have to say, we're trying to do better now. But these were great movies, it just they weren't as enlightened as we are now. That's how I handle everything. And you know, we're four very enlightened women, and so we can all look at each other and say, that's right.